The prerequisite of this class, especially those students who have not done accounting before, is our previous lecture. I would recommend that you first watch the Introduction to Financial Accounting video. There are two reasons we do ratio analysis in this module, and they're both primary reasons of this uh, study unit, Financial Accounting. Number one purpose of ratio analysis is that ratio analysis is a really good way of exploring the financial statement. You must be wondering that why we did not explore or we did not learn about financial statements before this class if we were going to use financial statements in this class. The reason is that if you try to look at financial statements, there is so much information given that if you do not have a purpose to look at financial statements, you would not know what you need to look at. So ratio analysis gives us that purpose. What should be looking for in the financial statements? One of the main characteristics or one of the main skill of financial analyst is to extract the relevant information and then ignore the other information. Ratio analysis gives us that relevance. In nutshell, there's a lot of information in financial statement which is not relevant to us, to this module or to the ratio analysis, and there is some information which is relevant. Hence, we need to look for that relevant information. It helps us to explore the financial statements uh, with the relevance, and, and with some time, it saves us a lot of time. Second purpose of the ratio analysis is that this is the main technique which you need to learn in, 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 in this module. Why? Well, a ratio analysis is, is a technique which is uh, one of the most important techniques an accountant learn. If you're doing a basic course, uh, a certificate uh, in financial accounting, you will be taught ratio analysis. When we start teaching accounting to students in A-levels, for example, or in our university, when we uh, start teaching financial accounting, to uh, our accounting in general, to students of uh, BSc accounting and finance, for example, so accounting specialist people. In the first year, we teach them a ratio analysis. And then in second year, again, we teach them ratio analysis. And in third year, again, we teach them ratio analysis. And you know, top of the accounting and finance qualification is chartered accountancy. When we teach students the very last modules in accounting and finance, even and then we teach them ratio analysis. This shows that how important ratio analysis is from going from very basic to the top of the understanding of the, of the financial information, ratio analysis is used. Obviously, we do not teach students everything from the start so at level one we would teach them some basics taking it to the very uh, expert level uh, in, in in the third year or in the final exam paper so this is the beauty of ratio analysis that it could be taught at the basic level and then it could be extended to the very competent level and that is why the ratio analysis is a really good topic for our coursework we teach you basic and then we expect you to learn by yourself and to extend your understanding by research to a higher level. What is a ratio? Well, a ratio is a formula. It could be a simple formula or it could be a complicated formula. A ratio in simple word is the weighting of one thing in comparison to the other. So it could, be, uh, it could be a mixing of salt in the flour. So that is a ratio of salt, ratio of salt to the flour. But obviously we are, t we are talking in technical terms. It is weighting of one figure to the other. So to give you a very simple example, five to 100 ratio. And then we solve this formula and we say it's 5%. So the purpose of, uh, of ratio analysis is to compare, it, compare the weighting of one figure uh, to the other and then calculate and give a final result which is meaningful to the reader. So 5 to 100 
is not really meaningful, but when we say is 5%, it becomes meaningful. The ratio results are not always is uh, are in percentage. They could be actually as a percentage, they could be in times uh, and they could be in number of days and, and so on. So every time we need to understand the meaning of the ratio. Ratio analysis covers five areas. So that's another five. Uh, you see our five elements of financial statements, our five parts of financial statement, and then five areas which ratio analysis looks into. However, uh, we only look at three areas, which is profitability. Profitability ratio uh, assesses or helps us to assess the profitability of a business. Uh, you must know what profit is now. Profit is excess of income over expenses. So we see this in income statement. So we assess if the business is making enough profit or not in the profitability ratios. After doing profitability ratios, you should be able to comment on the performance of a company in the profitability ratio. From management point of view, you should be able to suggest how to increase the profitability of a business of, of your company, for example. So how to increase the performance of a company in the profitability area. The second part is liquidity. Liquidity means the cash within the business. Profit and cash are two different things. Liquidity is important. Sometimes very profitable businesses, they go bankrupt because they don't have cash. How is that possible? Well, I give you an example. Let's say a business starts with 10,000 pounds and they buy products for 10,000 pounds and then a customer comes and say, um, I would like to buy all of your products for 20,000 pounds and you sell those. However, the customer says that I will pay, I will pay you in three months time, which is very normal credit period in the UK. So you sell all of your goods and you made a profit of 10,000 pounds. However, now you're out of money. You don't have money to buy more stock to continue business. So you're out of business technically. After a month, your staff is going to ask you to pay the wages. You don't have money to pay for the wages. So you are out of the business to pay other expenses. What we have learned that business have made a profit of 10,000 pounds. However, it cannot carry on trading because it does not have cash. So liquidity is another major of uh, uh, company's performance and these ratios help us to understand if the business have enough cash to carry on. We did talk about the purpose of cash flow statement. So cash flow statement is another way of assessing what is uh, the position of a business in, um, in, in a liquidity term. But we will do uh, these ratios to see how would that help. And the third area of uh, financial performance is efficiency ratios. And this directly uh, is relevant with management. So the purpose of the eff efficiency ratio is to assess how efficiently the management of the business is running the company, running the business. So we look at these three uh, areas. The other two areas, just for your inf information, are investment ratios. These are relevant to a uh, stock market. Uh, they're quite, they could be quite complicated as well. And then we have a gearing ratio, which is relevant to how the company gets its funds, equity, which is shareholders' money, and uh, debt, which is lenders' money.